And there is no easy solution to the problem of illegal Chinese fishing in Korean waters. But Seoul and Beijing are finally working together to put an end to this issue. They followed through on plans laid out by Presidents Park Geun-hye and Xi Jinping over the summer and have begun their week-long joint patrols in the West Sea today. Connie Kim has this report. Illegal fishing in Korean waters has long been a thorn in the side of Korean fishermen, and Korea and China are now working together to do something about it. Over the next week, two patrol boats, one from Korea and one from China, will travel throughout the overlapping areas of the two countries' exclusive economic zones in the West Sea. They'll be stopping boats from their respective countries that are found to be fishing illegally and talk with them. Once the patrol period ends on December 15th, Korea and China will exchange the information they've collected and discuss possible measures. Now, this comes after President Park Geun-hye and Chinese leader Xi Jinping agreed during summit talks in June to conduct a joint patrol of the area by the end of this year. It's expected that there will be two to three more inspections of the same kind next year. Korea's Oceans Ministry says that patrols are necessary and that measures currently in place are not effective in ending illegal practices by Chinese fishermen. Last month, the government announced plans to set up a special task force consisting of naval vessels and helicopters. They're also reviewing plans to confiscate unregistered Chinese ships. Over the past five years, more than 1,800 Chinese boats have been seized for illegal activities within Korea's exclusive economic zone. And it's estimated that about 1.2 billion U.S. dollars is lost from illegal fishing every year. Connie Kim, Arirang News.